video number 10. All right, anyway, <laughs> I'm excited because I'm almost done. All right, so we're going to do a detoxify uh, routine today. Um, we're going to start here in a mountain pose. So we're going to put our be standing straight up, standing tall, head trying to reach to the ceiling. Okay, you're gonna have your feet together, legs together, and then you're gonna have your arms facing straight down on the side of you, fingertips pointing straight down to the ground, right here. Cool, we're gonna hold all of these poses, five breaths. Of course, I'm gonna remind you throughout we're going to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And we're going to do that in this position for another four breaths. So go ahead and just hold that. Breathe in through the nose. Out through the nose. And continue at your own pace. And on this breath in, you're gonna reach up towards the sky, up with salute, look up, drop the shoulders down away from the ear and open the chest. Got it. Five breaths here, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. You can see that yourself, five breaths total. And on this breath in, you're going to bend to the right, side bend, get that nice stretch on this left side, five breaths here. On this inhale, gonna go upwards to boot. On this inhale, bend to the left. We're going to bring our fingers together, side bend to the left, getting a nice stretch on the right side. Okay, and then on this inhale, we're gonna bend back and back bend. here. Sorry if you hear anything in the background they're doing construction outside. And on this inhale, we're going to slowly, or we're going to inhale here, and then we're going to exhale and slowly bend down into a forward bend. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Slowly exhale it out. If you like, you can just hang. Look at your belly button. Slight bend in the knee. Okay, 
and walk it out and be like five breaths here. Inhale, halfway to where your hands are on top of your knee or right below the knee. Halfway lift, flat back, looking down, straight down at the ground. Gonna rest here, five breaths total. I'll take an inhale here and exhale down to standing forward fold. Looking at your belly button, slight bend in the knees. If you can't touch the ground, that's perfectly fine. Just keep breathing. You'll slowly get closer to the ground as you breathe into it. And if you like, if you have a block or anything like that, you can um, use your block and rest on your block. Bring the ground closer to you. I want you to slowly inhale up into a standing back bend. Raise those arms up like you're doing forward salute and then back bend. Drop the shoulders away from the ear. Open up the chest, looking up, taking in all the positive energy around you. I want you to take your last inhale here and exhale down into mountain pose. Exhale your arms down into mountain pose. Beautiful. I'm gonna rest here for five breaths and we're gonna run that back one more time. Open oh, up my diaphragm, I'm already yawning. All right, and you're gonna take an inhale here and inhale your arms up. Straight up into the air, upward salute. Dropping the shoulders away from the ear, open up the chest, and straight forward or up above, or whatever one works for you. In this inhale, I want you to inhale to the right, close the fingers together, side bend to the right, Salute. Stand here, five breaths. Arm straight up into the air. Okay. Inhale to the left. Close the fingers together. Slide them to the left. Back reps here. I want you to 
Inhale, back bend. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Press open. Looking up. Inhale, up, front salute. Take a deep breath out and bend at the waist. Forward bend till touching the ground until you're at your capacity to bend and just breathe into it. Remember, if you need a block or want to use a block, um, yoga doesn't have to be hard. Put a block under your arm with your hands and have that the ground come to you. I want you to inhale here, halfway, lift, straight back, looking straight down. Inhale up slowly into a back bend. Look to up to the heavy back bend. Looking up, dropping the shoulders away from the ear, chest open. Drop the arms down into mountain poses. Ooh. Felt good to me. Did it feel good to you? I hope so. Now we're going to get into it. Alright. Gonna get some water. Standing straight up, trying to touch your head to the ceiling. All right, and then we're gonna uh, hold this here five breaths. Okay. Wind, dive forward into a standing forward fold. You can bring our bar, look at your belly button, navel, whatever you call it. Touching the mat or coming as close as you can to touching the mat. Slight bend in the knee. Feet together. Five breaths in. I can't say 
Take a breath in there. Breathe out. Hold it. Then we're gonna kick the feet out. Oh, put the hands down and kick the feet out into plank. Exhale. And then five breaths here. You can do it. Some of us are gonna drop to our knees, but still have a straight back, and that's okay. Raise the shins up. That's perfectly fine. Spread the fingers out wide, take and plant down firm. Good, now we're gonna push up and push the hands back into downward facing dog. So we're gonna plant the hands down, flat, spread the fingers. Um, for those who have a block, don't put the block underneath you and then bring it around closer to you. Try to bring those feet closer to the ground as possible. If they don't touch, that's fine. Mine don't touch all the way. We're gonna bring our triceps and hamstrings in toward the center of our body. And walk it out if you want to. Hip width apart. Then we're gonna spread, I mean, bend our knees down. Ooh. Not all the way, I just came here just yet. Yeah. Anyways, so we're gonna down the off. We're gonna bend, slightly bend our knee, and then you're gonna kick out the right leg forward. Okay, keep a bend in the knee and then bend up, we're gonna go into warrior two. So that means that that back foot is gonna turn so it can be parallel with the back of the mat. We're gonna have a 90 degree angle and then the right leg is gonna be facing forward. Okay, we're gonna have a bend in the right leg and then we're gonna bring our arms out. You're gonna have your right arm facing forward, facing the same way as your foot and then your Left arm's gonna be straight behind you. You're gonna be looking over your right arm. Okay, warrior two. Looking straight. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. Open the chest. Kind of try to lunge more into it. Five breaths. Okay. Now you're gonna reverse warrior, so just drop that left arm back down on the left leg, and you're gonna make a moon over your head, bend down into it, lunge forward, five breaths here. Drop the shoulder away from the ear. Okay, hold on. So now you're gonna, oh, I'm supposed to keep that bent. So now you're gonna come forward, bend forward, and drop the right hand down to the ground, flat. And then you're going to bring the left arm over, create a moon over your head, extended side angle. Get a stretch on that left side of the body. Five breaths here. Drop that left arm down. Bring the right hand on the right side of the foot. Low lunge. Making sure that the ankle is parallel with the knee. And you're on your toes. With your left leg, you're on your toes. You flat footed the right foot. Okay, take a deep breath in. 
Hold it, kick that foot out. Plank. Hold this for a total of five breaths here. Okay, Chaturanga down, which means a uh, like shift forward some, bring your shoulders forward and then drop down all the way, all the way down. And then I want you to bring your arms back, flat behind you, and then you're going to kick up. And when you kick up, your chest will rise off the ground and your thighs are going to rise off the ground. You're going to extend your feet out, arms up, like we're sliding. Whee! Locus. Five breaths here. Good. Drop down slowly, flat. Okay, plant your hands and down in front of you so you can push back. Okay, we're gonna push up into tabletop. Taking a deep breath in, and then you're gonna bring your knees out to the edge of the mat. Gonna make your big toes touch. And you're gonna sit your behind on the heels of your feet, slowly pushing back and down while your arms are slowly extending out. Your head will drop to the mat, or if you have a block, <clears throat> if you have a block, your head will go down on the block, bring the ground closer to you. This isn't really a block, it's for my arms, but just so I can keep the block in mind, I'm gonna keep it by me. <laughs> Now we're gonna fold the toes under. And you're gonna kick up into downward facing dog. Remember our form, and remember if you have a block, put it underneath your hands so you can bring the ground up uh, higher to you. Remember our form, plant those hands flat, open the fingers so you can be planted. Try to come down on your heels. Looking at your belly button, hamstrings and triceps come in towards the center of the body. And then I want you to slightly put, put a slight bend in the knee and kick the left leg out. But it'll be warrior two on the left side now. So keep a bend in the left front knee. And then the right leg behind you is going to be straight out behind you. And the right foot is going to be parallel to the back of the mat. The foot's going to be facing forward. Bend in that knee. Arms straight forward. One arm straight forward, one arm straight back. You're going to be looking straight forward over your left fingertips. Or you two, drop the shoulders away from the ear. Looking. Breathe into it, breathe into it. Lunge a little deeper, you can do it. All right, now drop that right arm back to the right leg. Reverse warrior, keep a bend in that front leg. All right, now keep a bend in the front left leg, but bring your front, the front of your body toward the front leg to you drop your left arm down on the ground. Keeping a bend in that knee, remember. Oh yeah, and then you're gonna 
Bring your right arm over your head. Crescent lunge. Drop both hands down to the ground. Bring your left hand to the left side of your foot. Plant the hands flat down or be on the uh, balls of your fingers. It's okay. Low lunge on the left side. Look. Low lunge looking up, shoulders back. Chest out. Take a deep breath in. Drop. Plant both the hands. Kick the feet behind you. Walk it up for a second. Plank. Really plant the hands down and open the fingertips. Flat back. Chaturanga down. Move all the way down to the ground. Then you kick up and some locusts. Arms up. Five breaths here. Alright, now slowly relax all the way down. Put the hands down in front of you. Push up. Push back into child's pose. Remember, um, knees come out to the edge of the mat, big toes touch. Sit down on your feet, push the arms out, rest your head on a block or on the mat, whatever. the needle. So push up into tabletop and you're going to bring the right arm up towards the sky and then you're going to bring it underneath the left, hand, the left arm and lay your head down and your shoulder down on the mat. This hand can stay planted in front of you, or you can rest it behind you on your back. Five breaths here. Unthread the needle. Come to tabletop. Raise that left arm all the way to the sky, and then thread it under the right arm. Tuck your shoulder, rest on the ground, and your hands on the ground. Five breaths here. And thread the needle. Sit back into child's pose. Five breaths here. Applesauce. 
slide a little bit back so you can extend your right leg forward, planting your left foot on your left thigh. We're gonna do a head to, head to knee, so try to touch your head to your knee while reaching your both your hands out towards your foot. If they can't touch your foot, that's okay. You're gonna reach as far as you can to, to your foot. And same thing for your head. You're gonna go all the way down as far as you can towards your knee. But those who can, grab your toes or the center of your foot while resting your head on your knee. Walk the hands up, and we're going to swap. Five breaths here. Good. Walk the hands up. Relieving, so you're gonna bring your right leg up to your chest. I want you to hug your right leg close to your chest, keeping the left leg extended. Flex the left foot, hugging the right foot, hips down flat, shoulders down flat. Five breaths here. Okay, now switch, bring your left knee to your chest, hug your knee, five breaths, straighten that right leg out, keep it flexed. Yeah, keep both feet flexed, both feet flexed. Final twist, so bend the right knee, plant the right foot down, and then bring both arms out to the side. Okay, now you're gonna, uh, well, you can use your left arm to help the right leg down over to the side, but don't let your uh, shoulders lift off the ground. Final twist. Look the opposite way of your leg to your, my leg is going to the left, so I'm going to look to my right. Shoulders still flat on the ground. Head is straight with the foot below, so my spine is still straight. Okay, twist back. Twist back to center. You can use your uh, hands to help you. No problem. And then spinal twist the other way. Bring the left knee down to the ground as close as you can. Look in the opposite way. Look left. Apply your body to your right. Come back to center. Straighten up. Take the feet down. 
Take the arms down to the side. We're gonna hold corpus pose, savasana for five reps here. Down, 
on the side of the foot and then bring the left arm over the head crescent lunge on the right side if you have a block or anything like that you can use the block under your right hand to bring the ground closer to you all right good now you're gonna bring plant the left hand down plant the right hand on the side of the right i mean one hand on each side of the foot <laughs> low lunge looking forward chest open dropping the shoulders Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. In through the nose, out through the nose. Take a deep breath in, hold it, kick out into plank. Hold this here, five breaths. Good, chaturanga down. Lower down. Hike the straighten the feet out. Lower the body all the way down. Okay, we're gonna push up like we're sliding down something to locus. Bringing the chest up, thighs up, five breaths here, and through the nose. Out through the nose. In through the nose. Out through the nose. Alright, drop all the way down slowly. Plant the hands down in front of you. Push back into child's pose. Bringing those knees out to the edge of the mat. Touching those big toes. Reaching those arms out. Then maybe you have a block that goes under your head. Good. Now we're going to kick. I mean, uh, push up, curl the toes under, push up, downward facing dog. And bring our form. With a slight bend in the knees, slight bend. Kick the left leg through. Kick it up. Keep a bend in that left leg. Kick the right leg out. Where we have a good lunge going. Right leg's gonna be parallel with the back of the mat. Front left leg's gonna be facing forward and the left foot's gonna be facing forward. Warrior two. Last warrior two of the class completely, so really lunge into it. Straight back, dropping the shoulder away from the ear. Good, now drop that right arm back. Reverse warrior. Keep the front leg bent. Reach it over the, left, the head so you can get a good stretch over the left side. Good, now reach down to the ground to your left hand is planted all the way down. Right arm goes over the head. Crescent lunge on the left side. You need to bring the block. You can have the block under you. Bring the ground closer. Good, when you're done with that, 
I'm gonna take a deep breath in, plant your hands down on each side of your foot, kick back to plank, breathe out, five breaths here. Remember, if you need to, you can drop to the knee, no problem. Then we're gonna shot around it down. Remember, at any point, if anything gets too, too intense for the moment, you can always drop down into a Savasana or a child's pose, whatever, and then we feel ready to get back in with us. Passing it down, flatten down all the way. Then we're gonna kick up, push up into locust, arms up, chest up, thighs up. Good, lower all the way down slowly. Point those arms down, bring your hands down in front of you. Push back into child's pose. Slowly unthread the needle, drop the left hand in front of you, push up. Bring the left arm up all the way to the sky, look up. Thread the needle under the right arm. Five breaths here in your own pace. We're gonna thread the needle, drop the right arm down, the right hand, push up. Good, drop down, child's pose. And if you don't have blocks or anything, you can always use a blanket or pillows. Yeah. Good, slowly walk the hands up. Since I get into an easy seat. back a little bit if you're at the head of your mat. Um, take the right leg out, head to knee. Remember to keep your bottom planted down on the ground and your tailbone down on the ground. If it starts to lift, just come up a little bit. You went too far. You just slowly start to breathe down into where you need to be. Good, walk the hands up the leg and switch. Walk 
the hands up. Kick both feet out in front of you. We're gonna lay down. Relax. Ooh. Gonna bring your right knee to your chest. Hug your knee. Hold this here, five breaths. Do a reclined spinal twist. Bring both arms out, straight out. Bend the right leg, let the right foot down, and slowly start to bend the right leg. You can use your arm to help you, your hand to help you. Bring the right leg over to the side, making sure your leg is still straight, your spine is still straight, your neck is still straight, all that's still aligned. You're gonna look the opposite way of your leg. Making sure both shoulders are still flat on the ground. Straighten the legs out flat. Bring the arms down to the side. Straight down. Good. You made it through. Shavasana now, corp pose. Thank you. Thank yourself. Thank your body for getting on your mat today. Learning discipline and relaxation all at the same time. Yoga teaches us to be comfortable in an uncomfortable position. So if we're in a lunge and it gets a little bit too intense, can you focus in on your breath to help you relax into it? That's what we're doing. Learning discipline, learning how to relax at the same time. Learning how to implement action. Learning how to do it. You got on our neck. Good job. We're just breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. And we're just continuing that throughout this whole time, focusing in on our breath. Start to get a little fidgety or moody, or your mind starts to wander. Just start to focus back in on the breath. Start to maybe count the breaths, but in your head.
Inhale, drawing down the breath in. Take a deep breath in. It's really healthy. The more oxygen we intake, the more it promotes healthy white blood cells to be made in our body. So, don't do an intense situation or anything outside of your yoga mat. Just take in more air. Take that deep breath in and out. Slow down. Allow those white blood cells to refresh you and be created to come in and help you out.
slowly your toes and your fingers. Bring awareness to the body. Oh, twirl the wrist, twirl the ankles. And when you're ready, turn to a side. Whatever side is okay. You can use the hand in front of you to slowly push up. No rush. Come into an easy seat. Or a butterfly seat, whatever is more comfortable for you. Bring your hands to heart center. I just want to say thank you so much. I feel almost accomplished. It's just a beautiful feeling. I'm gonna push through, but I'm gonna do this. Happy and proud of myself. Thank you. I'm gonna take a bow. Delight in me, you delight in you. Namaste.